This video is about uh, review for descriptive uh, statistics. 1a. A data set has n items. The sum of the items is uh, 800. The mean is uh, 20. Find the n. We know that uh, this uh, 800 divided by n equals uh, 20. Therefore, n equals 800 over 20 equals 40. 1b. The standard deviation of this data set is a 3. Each value in the set is multiplied by 10. Write down the value of the new mean. We know the mean equals x1 plus x2 keep going, adding to that uh, x20 altogether over n. That means over 20. For each value multiplied by 10, you will get this uh, multiplied by 10. Therefore, since here, that's the old mean. Is a 20, then times 10 equals 200. That's the new mean equals 200. When C, find the value of a new variance that equals a sigma square. For this sigma, that's a f times uh, x i minus x bar square over n. First of all, let's talk about the new standard deviation. That equals frequency won't change. Each of them multiply by, by 10, so 10 sigma i minus, uh, you know that mean will increase uh, by 10, so 10 times uh, sigma square. For standard deviation, don't forget square root. Therefore, you will get this, here's n, f times I will take this 10 outside. So x i minus x bar square. Then we multiply by 100 equals 10 times this. This is the uh, original. 10 times 3 equals 30. Therefore, for the new variance equals 30 square, that is 900. For 2a, the following table shows mean weight y kilogram of children who were x years old. The relationship between the variable is modeled by regression line with the y equals ax plus b. Find the value of a and b. First of all, we put the data into stat L1, L2, then go to linear regression. Remember, put the diagnostic on so that you can get this R. We got the a equals 1.92. And a B equals 7.98. For 2B, write down the coloration coefficient. R equals 0 0.985. Use the equation to estimate the mean weight of a children that is 1.95 years old. So Y equals 
0.92 times 1.95 plus 7.98. We put into calculator, you will get 11.7 kilogram. For 3A, a city hired 160 employees to work at a festival. The following cumulative frequency curve shows the number of hours employees worked during the festival. Find the median number of hours worked by employees. Since this is a cumulative frequency graph, the median that's 160, we're looking for 80, then from 80 we go down. You could see 40 hours. This will be the median number. For 3B, write down the number of employees who worked 50 hours or less. You will get this uh, 50, go up, it's uh, here, then go to the horizontal line here. You will get um, 130. Less than 50 hours, that means uh, all together we have uh, 130 employees. For 3C, the city paid each of employees 8 pounds per hour for the first 40 hours worked and 10 pounds per hour for each hour they worked after the first 40 hours. Find the amount of money an employee earned for working 40 hours. 40 multiplied by 8, that's 320. Pound. For 3D, find the amount of money an employee earned for working 43 hours. For the first 40 hours paid per hour 8 pound plus extra 3 paid 10 pound per hour. So we get 350 pound. Find the number of employees who earned 200 pound or less. So we use 200 divided by 8. You will get 25 hours. You will find the 25 is here. That will be 18 because for the skill on the y-axis, that is the 2 for each unit. Let's go to last question. Only 10 employees earned more than k pound. Find the value of k. So you will find these uh, 10 employees from here. This is uh, 10 employees. So we go down to 60 hours. They have to work uh, more than 60 hours. For 60 hours, 40 hours they paid 8 pounds for each hour. Then rest of 20 they paid 10 pounds for each hour. So we got 320 plus 200. That's 520 pounds. This is the key. For 4A, there are 10 items in a data set. Some of the items uh, is a 60. So 60 divided by 10 equals 6. That's the mean. 
The variance of this data set is a、uh, three, which means、uh, this equals three. Each value in the set is multiplied by four. Write down the value of、uh, new mean. The new mean equals the old mean six multiplied by four. That's twenty-four.、Uh, Find the value of、uh, new. Variance for the new variance equals this is the formula. Since this、uh, x i we multiply by four, the mean will multiply by four. So you will get sixteen、uh, because this four square times the、uh, original sigma square. That is sixteen times three equals forty eight. Now let's go to five a. First of all, we need to find the coloration coefficient and write down the value of a and b for this regression equation. We will put the all data into L one and L two. Then we go to calculate for linear regression a x plus b. We will get this. So R equals negative zero point nine nine four. A equals negative one point five eight. For B equals remember three significant、uh, figures, so we can write down three three five zero zero. For five B, on first、uh, January two thousand ten, Lena buys a car which has traveled eleven thousand kilometers. Use this regression equation to estimate the price. So we have y equals negative one point five eight times one one zero zero zero. Plus three three five zero zero. So we plug in. Y equals one six one zero zero dollars. For five C, the price of a car decreased by five percent each year. Calculate the price of a Lena's car after six years. We talk about increase by. Five percent each year. That is the exponential function. So future value equals、uh, principal times one minus zero point zero five to the t power. Now we plug in one six one zero zero times one minus zero point zero five to the six power. Put into calculator, we will get. It will be one one eight zero zero dollars. For five D, Lena will sell her car when its price reach ten thousand dollars. Find the year when Lena sells her car. We will set up this、uh, principal y minus.、Uh, Zero point zero five to the t power equals ten thousand. We know this p that is one six one zero zero one minus zero point zero five t. Since we want to use the equation solver minus ten thousand equal to zero. We put this one into 
y1. We put into y1 first, and then go to math solver. Then put the y1 into this uh, solver. You know, you put the 10 or 11, any positive number for x, do the alpha enter, you will get the x equals, that means this t equals 9.28 years. So we use 2010 plus uh, 9 you will get the 2019 year. For 7a, you just need to go to calculator and uh, get this regression function that a equals 0 0.0824, b equals 0 0.306. Then go to 7b, explain what the gradient a represent. We know this is a slope. When we're doing slope, that's y over x. Y is a liters. X, that means a kilometers. The meaning of this uh, slope, we always write down that uh, 0 0.0824 liters per kilo meter when you write down the meaning of a slope this is the keywords you can use each you can use every that's the meaning for this uh, a that's a slope or gradient then for 7c we estimate uh, the amount of fuel the car would use if it's uh, driven 110 kilometers. Basically, we just need to plug in 0 0.0A24, 110. Then it's plus 0 0.306. Your answer will be 9.37 liters.